Are we live? Cartwheel vid, take five. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? It's Coach Carlin, Coach Mick. Um, we are going to be going over some cartwheel technique drills, um, keep you moving at home. So very minimal equipment. You can use couch cushions, your couch if you really wanted to, um, a pillow. If you have a green trifold mat, you can absolutely use that. Um, but yeah, very simple. We're gonna go through a warm up and <laughs> Three, three uh, quick drills to uh, get your cartwheel. So to get you guys warmed up at home, we are going to go through three simple um, exercises to get you guys nice and warmed up. So Coach Mick is going to start with 15 jumping jacks. All the way up, arms all the way up. Um, okay, and then we are going to move on to 10, we're just going to call them high jumps. So all she's going to do is she's going to sit, drive her arms right to her ears, and try and get as high as possible. One, two, woo, three, look at that head, four, five, great job, almost there, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, one more, ten, great Woo job. Uh, okay, then we are going to work on arm flutters. So we're gonna do five each way. We're gonna do five up, five to the side, and then five back. <laughs> so, okay, we'll start up. So five arm flutters. When you're doing this, you really wanna focus on um, engaging your shoulder muscles, making sure they're nice and warmed up and loose. You're doing great, Michaela. <laughs> okay, so that's our warm up. Okay, so first drill, we are going to go over um, some basic shapes that we need in order to perfect our cartwheel. So first things first, Coach Mick is going to demonstrate a posse. So whichever leg you cartwheel with is the leg that's going to go up. So Coach Mick cartwheels with her right leg. She is going to lift her right leg, make sure that that toe is next to that knee, driving that knee up. You're gonna hold this for 15 seconds. <laughs> Uh, okay, then the next one we are going to do is lunge. So lunge is what you go into after, <laughs> after your posse. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure your back leg is straight and you're leaning nice and forward because in cartwheels, we need to reach forward, not to our toes. So Coach Mick has her arms next to her ears. Her back leg is nice and straight. Great form. Um, okay, then the next one we're going to go on is lever. So lever comes after your lunge. So, she has her arms next to her ears. She's leaning forward. She's going to kick and be flat. Great job. Kind of toe. <laughs> so same thing. You want to hold that for 15 seconds as well. Okay. Then the next one we are going to do is we are going to go into front support. Same thing. Hold for 15 seconds. So you want your hands turned in. Hands nice and close. Let's get your hands in a little bit more. And you want to be pushing through your shoulders. Okay, then the next one we're going to go into is back support. So, Coach Mika's going to drive her hips up, pushing through her shoulders, so push up a little bit more, and then drive your hips up as high as they can go. There we go. So, you want to be squeezing your glutes as much as possible, and you want to get your body into a nice straight line. Hold that for 15 seconds. <laughs> All you need is either a mat, a pillow, something that you want to go over. Um, so, we call this passe lunge lever. It's going over your basic shapes and you're just going to do it over panel mat, a pillow, whatever. So Coach Mick is going to start in her passe position with her arms next to her ears and then she is going to lunge over, making sure that she's leaning forward into her lunge. She wants a straight line from her fingertips to the back of her heel. So she hits this, then she's going to go into her lever position, hold, and come down. Great job. One important thing to make sure is when you're doing these that you have a neutral head the whole time. So when you're in your lever position, you want to make sure that you're not poking up like a turtle. So um, that one you're going to complete 10 times. Um, the third drill that we're going to be doing is box hops. 
Please excuse the background noise. <laughs> so for box hops, this is going to go over uh, the basic motion that you need to go through in order to understand what it feels like to do a cartwheel. So Coach Mick is going to start with her hands on the mat, facing the end of the mat. So you don't want them turned in. You, you have them right. You don't want them turned in out. You want them straight. Um, Coach Mick is then going to hop from side to side, trying to get her hips in line with her shoulders. Great job. You're doing great. Awesome. So the easier or the harder this gets, you need to get your hips over top of your shoulders. So once you start progressing, you want to try and get your hips higher and higher. That way they're over top of your hands and your shoulders. Um, and then the more advanced one, once that gets a little bit easier, we are going to hop from one foot to the next foot. Good, so Coach May has this one up, she's going to straighten it out. <laughs> uh, and then she's going to hop from that foot, and then she's going to land on it. Great job. Good job, Okay, we're going to do that one more time. And hop. Great job. <laughs> awesome. So that is a more advanced one. To start off, you want to have a higher platform that your hands are on, and then once that gets a little bit easier, you can start taking off layers from your paddle mat or taking away couch cushions, whatever it is. But the lower the surface, the more difficult it gets. So keep that in mind while you guys are doing that. You're going to do 10 of each. Okay, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We can't wait to see videos of you guys working on this at home. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Cartwheel six. <laughs> Quiet on set. Three. Smile, Nick. Two. One. No, no, no. no. Courtney David, you cut at this point. Take seven. <laughs>